Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green and Steel. So it's Monday morning, we don't even know where Dad's at. So while we're waiting for him to get here, we are going to go ahead and put the transmission for the pony motor for the 720 back on the pony motor. Uh, we resealed it, it's uh, all dry now. So what we're going to do is, we're going to hold it up here, and we're going to get these bolts put in as alignment bolts. I'm going to put one here. We're going to put one on this side. There we go. There it goes. So the reason we're putting these long bolts in is that way we can slide the pony transmission back and forth on the bolts. Let me get a <laughs> because we need to slide it back and forth, I think we're going to need it. It's probably here somewhere. So, uh, no. Mm -hmm. that, that's embarrassing. Oh, now I got the right socket. Somebody didn't put them back on the rails in the right spots. So we're going to tighten these in a little bit. And the reason we're going to use these long bolts is because we have to line the clutch up with the input shaft in the pony motor transmission. By getting these bolts in, we've got something to help us hold it while we go through here. And we've got to hold that. I, I, can get to it. I think it started, didn't it? It's turned. It's turned. Mm -hmm. Now I need the light. My light's dead. Just gotta get started up on our uh, alignment valves here. We can actually put our proper bolts in. Start up on the alignment. Oh, there's Dad finally coming outside. Problem is, he's gonna run in here. Okay, so now we're just going to put the rest of our bolts in and tighten them up and put this little side cover back on. Now that we have the pony motor reassembled, we got the transmission back on it. We are going to clean it up really good and uh, prime it and paint it. We left the starter off for now so we can paint behind the starter. This way, we're going to paint where this sits on the tractor. The pony motor will be painted. That way when we go to paint the rest of the tractor, this can all stay together and not be disturbed. And we'll just blend the paint in as we go. So you'll never uh, never notice that this was painted before the rest of the tractor. Well, you'll, you'll see it in the videos because we're going to plow with it quite a bit. We're going to work this tractor pretty good before we paint it just to make sure we don't have any other issues. So, but we figured while we're here, we might as well clean this pony all up because there's a lot of intricate spots to get into and you can't really get into them when it's bolted on the tractor. So now is the perfect time to do it because hopefully we won't have to pull it back off for any reason when we go to uh, paint the rest of the tractor. So I'm going to go grab the, we're going to let this sit for a little bit, let that soak in that dried on grease and I'll go grab the pressure washer. And uh, we'll get her washed up, and then we'll probably do some sanding on it, and uh, 
well, you will uh, shoot some paint on it. Yeah, hopefully this turns out beautiful. I think it will. So I guess I should tell you what we're using to clean this up before we uh, wash it is we're using this gunk engine cleaner foamy. And this stuff works really good. Um, this and I've been told that uh, oven cleaner works really good, but That's the oven, good. yeah, oven oven cleaner typically takes the paint off though. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful with that. But uh, this stuff works real good. Uh, we use a lot of purple power, uh, grime away. Um, haven't quite found that exact cleaner yet that with the, right mix. with the right mix but these all work well especially with a uh, pressure washer that produces hot water so uh, we're gonna let this sit I think for like uh, like you said like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll uh, get that pressure washer out here and see what we got so while we wait on the pony motor to sit out there and soak we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, drain the fuel out of the tractor because the uh, we've got some leaks here and it's dripping down on top of the engine. And if we're going to repaint this, we don't want any leaks. So we're going to drain the fuel out of the tractor real quick once I get this line off. Come out. Okay, we'll do it this way. My goal was to slide a hose over this and drain the fuel out real quick. So now we can do that. Our hose will slide over this end. And then we'll just simply turn the fuel back on. And drain it right in the bucket down there. Probably gonna take a little bit. So now that we got this fuel draining, we can go back out and should be about the right time for that to set. And we can wash that pony motor up. Well, let's get washing. Got the pressure washer all heated up. I washed the approach off here to get the water good and hot. So uh, now we're gonna get washing. washing I'm, I'm trying not to directly hit the uh, box with the points in it and all that for the pony motor I'm just gently washing around it because I don't want to get water forced in around anything and get anything super wet <laughs> temperature in the shop fairly warm so that uh, it dries out quick and we don't have any moisture issues there. I'm very happy with it. It came very clean. I'm going to do a little more washing on it and we'll get her back in the shop. We got her all washed off really good and clean so now we're going to take the air blower. This air blower is actually for radiators. It's got a flat smashed tip. And this thing puts out some air. So we're going to blow the extra water off of it real quick and then we'll bring it back in.
drying it out real nice. So I'll get this blowed off and bring it back in the shop. After bringing the pony motor back in the shop and setting it back here on our work table, made out of a pallet and some sawhorses, I uh, went ahead and I started cleaning it up with a wire wheel. I got the valve covers all cleaned up, got the, uh, the ignition box all cleaned up, the points and everything in there. So the paint was starting to peel off of it. And if you feel the paint, if you can feel it, you're going to see it. So I went ahead and I wire wheeled all the paint off of it, shined it up. So now when I, when I go back through and paint that, you're not going to see any imperfections. It'll be nice and smooth. So I went ahead and I pulled the spark plugs out, took uh, the drill with a, uh, this is a uh, wire brush that you use for uh, copper plumbing. Before you solder, you run that in your uh, copper fittings to clean them up inside and scratch them up a little bit. Took that, stuck it in each hole, polished around the holes, got it all cleaned up. And I went ahead and I taped all the plug wires off, taped all the brass fittings off, and uh, the adjustments on the carburetor, just to give it a little detail. Um, this side's all cleaned up. There's a few spots I'm going to hit. The more I look at it, the more I see. So before I do my final paint work, I'll touch them all up, clean up what's left. So uh, what I'm going to do now is before I paint anything, uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. This was already painted. This was off a newer, tra or a fresher restored tractor. So I'm going to scuff that up a little bit so to ensure that our paint sticks to it because I don't want it peeling later. So what I'm going to do is this has no oil in it right now. Uh, I looked at our book. We actually found a shop manual for this tractor that is not a reprint. It's an original print, which is pretty cool. So, because uh, some of them reprints are a little bit hard to read, but this one is a original copy. So I looked in the book and the pony motor transmission takes SA30 oil. So, and it takes a pint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put oil in this and then clean the plug all up because I won't have to mess with it again. And then once it's painted, it's ready to sit back on the tractor. So, uh, I think that's all I need to do, really. So I think we're good to go. But I'm pretty excited. The only other thing I got to do before it goes back on the tractor, I'm going to try to get it primed today. We have to go do an excavating project. But I'm going to try to, uh, I got fuel all over. I got to get that cleaned back up. But uh, I'd like to get this gasket replaced. This gasket's not available anymore at your John Deere dealer so I've got to actually cut a gasket material and make a new one for it dad and I'll have to do that this gasket is still available so we have that one we have that gasket and we have the oil seal that seals between the pony and the tractor because that's where your oil drains into when you service your uh, pony motor it drains out of the pony and down in the crankcase of the tractor and then out the regular hole so uh we got all that uh we got a new water pump for it we got to change the water pump out got that new paris tractor parts so that's another thing coming up and i got to finish draining the fuel out of it which i think it's finally finished draining i put quite a bit in it when i was trying to bleed it so i'm gonna go ahead and get this oil put in here and uh see if i can get this primed yet today we're going to start putting oil in here. we got our check plug out. There's supposed to be a drain uh, cock in there, but I don't have one to put in there. So we're just going to leave the plug in there. And that's what happened to the last transmission was that got broke off somehow years ago and drained all the oil out in the tractor set with no oil in the transmission. So it was locked up. So I'm going to start putting some oil in here. Now it only takes a pint, so it's not a whole lot. So we're just going to keep putting oil in until oh, it comes out the hole. So I'd say we got plenty full. So that's one thing done. So we'll get that tightened up. I might have a little extra in there, but that's all right. I'd rather have a little extra in there than not enough. Got my little crescent wrench here that I carry in my pocket all the time. Works handy for small things like that. So I'm going to get this top plug cleaned up with a wire wheel and then put that back in and we're good to go. 
So after today's activities, we come in the shop tonight and we uh, started working on our projects. Well, I was going to paint the pony motor tonight, at least prime it. But then I had remembered that we had taken the cover off for the thermostat. And I thought, well, we better make a gasket for that. So I need to make a gasket for that. Um, some of these gaskets aren't even available anymore, so we just have to cut our own out. But I did get the uh, intake filter or oil bath all painted up. Got it all painted. And Dad's been over here working on the 720, getting... Uh, He's working on getting these covers resealed. As you can see, you can see the rod down in there. You can see the one on that side too. So, so we did make some progress tonight, but I didn't get as far as I want because I definitely want to get that resealed before I put this all back or paint all this, so that uh, once I get it painted, I don't have to tear it back apart. So. This episode, it won't get painted. But next one, it will get painted. So if you like this episode of Dirt Green Steel, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.